Hi, I'm Joe Duncan with Heatcraft Refrigeration. I'd like to take a moment to introduce you to the nomenclature for our new evaporator line. Today we'll take a sample model, we'll break down what each digit means, and we'll talk about how to take an old model and cross it to the new. The example we're going to look at today is a BEL0095 AS6AMA. Now that first digit is going to be your brand indicator. It's going to be a B for Bone, L for Larkin, C for Climate Control, or H for Chandler. Your next digit is going to be your product identifier. All the evaporators are going to have an E in this slot. All your condensing units will have a C in that slot. Your next digit is going to be the evaporator style. Uh, for low profiles, it's always going to be an L. Medium profiles are an M. High profiles or the large unit coolers are going to be an H. Center mounts will be a C and the low velocity center mounts will be a V. Now your next digits are going to indicate your nominal capacity. Be sure you're not just going by that number. Be sure you're taking your model number and going to the technical guide, going to the hub, or going to the cross-reference tool, determining your refrigerant, and then looking at your application capacity for that piece of equipment. Your next digit is going to be your voltage code. This is not changed from our old nomenclature, so an A is going to be 115 single phase, B is going to be 208, 230 single phase, C is going to be 208, 233 phase, and D is going to be 463 phase. Your next digit is going to indicate your application refrigerant. All your standard refrigerants are just going to have an S in this slot. Uh, your glyco models are going to have a G, and your CO2 models are going to have a C. Your next digit is going to indicate fins per inch. In the past, you could find this on all the Larkin units. In every model, the, the fins per inch code was included, but on none of the other brands. Now we're going to include that on every brand, so you'll be able to know fins per inch on everything you have, just from the model number. Your next indicator is going to be your defrost code. Really simple, it's going to be an A for air, E for electric, or H for hot gas. Uh, your next code is going to be your motor, E for EC, P for PSC, M for two speed, and V for variable speed. Your next digit is going to just be the vintage code. This is the first version of this model, so we start with an A vintage. Uh, the next minor revision we make to this model is going to go to a B vintage, and then C, and so on and so forth. Your next codes are going to be your factory installed option package. Uh, just the base model we build, the base BEL0095 is going to be a B0000. If you want to add any options from the factory, you're going to change the B code. Uh, for example, if you want to add intelligence, that's going to be the factory mounted user interface. All the sensors, then the EEV, that's going to be a B0200 for 448 and 404. So you're going to have a unique option code for any option package you're going to pick. If you have an old model and you need to figure out what the new version is going to be, just go to heatcraftrpd.com and find the cross-reference tool or go to the Heatcraft app where the cross-reference tool can be found also. And just take your old model, whether it's a ADT-090, LET-120, plug that in, it's going to cross it over and it's going to give you side-by-side -side technical comparison. You can see number of fans, you can see dimensions, you can see capacities at different refrigerants, and it's going to help you make the right selection from the old model to the new. Thanks for your time today and have a great day.